there, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. Today I'm back again with another video to show you uh, how to do Facebook interest targeting for any product. So I'm going to show you an example where I'm I'm really unbiased. So I really have no idea what I'm gonna pick for. I'm just gonna pick a random product on Amazon today and I'm just gonna show you my um, interest targeting thought process. So basically interest targeting, it's not very difficult. It just takes a bit of time and I guess a bit of thinking as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you an example of what are the, the sort of things if you're stuck right now on interest targeting, you've already selected your product, you already know what to sell, but you just don't know uh, who or what to target and basically how to uh, set, uh, put out your ads. Okay, so basically the general guidelines that I have if I'm stuck on a certain product on uh, what type of interest targeting, I'll generally have these, um, these categories that I go to if I'm stuck. So I will generally target the brands that I'm selling them. So for example, if I was uh, selling like some type of makeup, right, a new type of brand that people don't know, I'll ta uh, target like uh, Sephora, MAC, uh, Maybelline, those type of brands. Okay, if they're in ambassadors, there were, uh, I mean, different celebrity ambassadors, uh, different fan pages as well. You'll be surprised that a lot of uh, Facebook has like, I love makeup, uh, makeup cosmetics tutorial, something like that. Uh, magazines are self-explanatory and genres may be a bit uh, more applicable in the sense that, like for example, I do photography, uh, like street photography, or maybe uh, landscape photography, portrait photography, those type of genres, if uh, your product determines and is absolutely, um, suited for those type of genres, okay? So right now, I'm just gonna uh, go into Amazon and literally select a random product. I have no idea at all. Just to show you, you can basically do interest targeting uh, quite quickly if you know what you're looking for and you know what you're searching. Okay, so uh, right now, I'm just in a bestsellers list. And I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm just gonna pick one category randomly. Um, look, uh, tool, tools and home improvement. Uh, that, that may be a challenge. Okay. So I'm I'm just gonna pick I'm just gonna pick one product, and I'm just gonna go into Facebook and show you the interest targeting. Okay, so I'm 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 looking at products in the sense that I'm seeing whether there is uh if it's if it's too general I'm definitely not gonna sell it I'm definitely gonna not gonna do interest targeting for this example. But if it had something uh, that I uh, would be able to target a bit using interest targeting then I'll definitely uh, try it out. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna go to the second page right now okay so i found this this product uh i guess it's like a portable led lamp for camping so i have no idea of like survival uh survival kit for lamps emergency hurricane power outage so uh, i guess uh, in a sense it's for uh, emergencies is for when you're going out uh, camping and you need a portable light something like that something in that niche so generally when you you already go to Facebook you can't just put out one ad set and uh, expect the thing to work you need to really try out multiple multiple different ad sets to really test the market because the market is unbiased and you need to see uh, what um, what your ad copy responds to and what type of interest targeting so you really need to like spread out your wings and uh, basically test the market in all different angles and all different ways to see which one really clicks, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the different ad sets that I may possibly uh, basically gather from this product itself. So uh, use, just go into a Facebook Business Manager right now and uh, starting uh, interest targeting. So I guess uh, I'll just do everything here in, in one ad set. I'm just gonna show you what I would uh, basically focus and choose which ad set that I, I may publish and buy, okay? So uh, portable LED, let me just think. So I'm just gonna first find camping. So the thing about interest targeting uh, for beginners is that not everything is in the interest targeting. So if it's not, if it's something that Facebook doesn't have data points on, something that's not significant enough, for example, a very extremely niche uh, some something or, or someone that may have some subculture somewhere, but it's not very popular in the mainstream, then he, uh, that person or that thing may not uh, show up in the interest targeting. So in general, you need to go broad first. So I'm just gonna go camping. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna change my location uh, to the United States so that we can get a bit more of a sample size. So generally, uh, each um, ad set, I'm looking when I'm uh, targeting, right? I'm looking for a good population size. So anywhere from 300,000 to 1 million uh, audience size uh, will be good for me. So I, I need statistical significantly, uh, statistically significant data. So camping 35 million, that's uh, just too much. So I'm, I'm just gonna, narrow down uh, my audience here. So people who like camping, and I'm just gonna put in, uh, I guess, outdoors. Okay, I'm just gonna put in outdoors. 
Okay, 10 million. Okay, so I'm gonna put in, um, let's see, let's see, uh, cooking. Uh, no, let's, let's, uh, let's try something else. Uh, biking. For uh, 42,000. Let's try mountain biking. Okay, so my audience size will be camping, outdoors, mountain biking. Okay, I'm, I'm currently at 4.6 million. It's uh, just a big, uh, bit too much for me. So what I'm going to try here is to narrow down even further. I'm going to try to put in engaged shoppers. Engaged shoppers is basically uh, people who are already engaged into certain ads um, on Facebook over time, yeah, basically in the past week. So I've narrowed down my audience size into uh, this. Okay, so I want people who like camping, who like the outdoors, who kind of like this uh, biking uh, sort of marketing slant, who are engaged as well. So what I think I can do is to put, to exclude people who like cooking. So I'm just gonna focus on the, the biking people here. Okay, so let, let's see what's the audience size that we can get out of this. Okay, so I get 430,000. So to me, this is a, a good ad set that I can publish, that I can, I can put out. And so this is an ad set I'm taking. So camping, outdoors, mountain biking, and gate shoppers cooking. So generally, um, because uh, I'm just doing on this on the spot, right? This is uh, very, very stretched out. I don't want something that's very stretched out. I would like something that is kind of broad, in a sense. I don't want to pigeonhole myself in terms of uh, who I'm targeting. If I'm um, or, um, targeting to some, uh, to like this camping lamp, for example, is an evergreen product. So I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself too much. So this is something you just need to take note of, okay? So I'm just going to close uh, all of these tabs and I'm just going to go on to my second ad set. Uh, then I'm just going to show you my thought process as well. Okay, so instead of camping for my second ad set, let's try hiking. So uh, let me try, um, let's see, 18 million hiking trails. Okay, so the good thing about interest targeting, right, is that you can come in here and they literally suggest to you, so you just pick one, you, all you got to, got to do is to find one interest. And then they will literally show you uh, basically the, the subsets of, of basically what you can find. So as you can see, backpacking, trekking, hiking equipment, hiking boot. So th these are really, really interesting things that I can go to. So I'm just gonna go, uh, so instead of putting it in the same in the same box, right, I'm gonna flex it. I'm gonna flex it, so basically narrow it down even further. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in, uh, in my second box, I'm gonna narrow my audience once again, and I'm gonna put in hiking boot. Okay, let's see, let's see what's the result that I get. Okay, 56,000. So 56,000 is too little. As I said before, I want something 300,000 to a million. So what I'm gonna do is to pull up here, uh, suggestions again, and I'm gonna bring in uh, more interest into my, into my second group. So 88,000, I'm gonna bring in more relevant information. Backpacking will be interesting. Okay, so two million. So I know, I, I know backpacking is too, is too big an audience for me. So let me try, um, let's see what's uh, relevant here. Um, snow boot. How about snow boot? Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, no. Okay. Okay, so outdoor recreation is too big. Okay, outdoor enthusiast is too big as well. Okay. So let me try a different slant, right? So I'm just gonna cancel my entire ad set here. I'm gonna come into hiking trails one time. And I'm gonna try, let's see, let, let's try backpacking. So let's try uh, narrowing my audience once again. Let's try to put in backpacking. Okay, so people who like hiking trails and people who like backpacking. Okay, so we're back into two, the two million range. So I know that this is just too big. So I'm gonna narrow further and see what backpacking gives me. So backpacking, wilderness, backpacking, travel, the backpacker. Okay, so I'm gonna use the, the travel niche here. I'm gonna use the travel slant here. So I'm gonna try uh, outdoor life, love to travel, and adventure travel. So I'm just gonna put in love to travel. Okay, so just now that adventure, adventure travel, right? So uh, I guess travel the world would be good. As you can see here, there's I love to travel. So these uh, are basically um, the the really really uh, passionate fan bases that you can use as well in your interest targeting. And as I mentioned just now, 
It's part of like fan pages. So these are just fan pages. These are very, very good because you know they really love, they, really, they love traveling. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, it's fifteen thousand. That's that's just it's just too niche already. Okay, so uh, instead of putting I love to travel instead. Okay, so I'm saying I'm saying this uh this slant is just a bit too small for me. So what I'm gonna do instead is to narrow further and just put engage shoppers once again. Okay. So uh, engage shoppers nine hundred eighty thousand. That that is good enough for me, and uh, I will definitely accept this ad set as something that I will publish. But you can go even one step further, right? So if you're thinking about uh, people who are already uh, like hiking, they like backpacking, and they engage shoppers. So this kind of tells me, in a sense, I'm stereotyping here, that they are couples who like uh, hiking. They like hiking together. So I'm just gonna put in, if possible, uh, I'm gonna narrow down even further, and I'm gonna find parents. Okay. There's a parents demographic. There's also, if I'm not wrong, a married demographic. Yeah, so I can select married here and let's see what the result that I get. Okay, so 270,000. So this would be, uh, sorry. So, so this would, would basically be a very, very narrow audience that I may, may or may not potentially uh, want to sell to, but I could definitely test it out. 270,000 is close to the 300,000 mark and it's something I'm very, very comfortable with. Okay, so this is uh, potentially another ad set that you can uh, explore. And uh, so I'm gonna move on to the last one. So as you can see here, uh, a lot of my ad set targeting, I'm doing it on the spot, like in front of you. But the thing is, uh, when you do your ad set targeting, you have time to think, you have time to uh, plan and focus and really see what your customer persona is. So you can really be uh, more accurate in your interest targeting. All right, so I'm just gonna do one more example of what type of ad set that I may potentially go with. So I'm just gonna look back. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try the survival niche. Okay, I'm gonna try the survival niche this time. And uh, let, 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 let's, let's see what type of result we can get. Okay, so survival skills, survival. Let's try. Let's try survival skills. Okay, so survival skills is just too small. Let's try something else. Okay, so I can't find anything on survival. Something, anything feasible. So I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna try like a camping, uh, firewood, fireplace, uh, bonfire sort of uh, marketing angle. I'm gonna try. Okay, so I just gonna put in camping. And let's see if I can find anything on uh, bonfire, like like marshmallows sort of thing. Okay, so bonfire. Okay, so one one million people. Let's see if we can go even further than that. Bonfire. Let's see. Uh, marsh marshmallows. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this marshmallow could potentially be the DJ. So I, I definitely don't want that. Okay, so in, uh, just, just to save time on this video, I'm just gonna uh, exclude people. So instead of doing an engage shoppers narrow further, which could be the easy way, right? For example, if you didn't want to do that, you could do potentially uh, exclude the people that you have included in your other ad sets as well. So for example, just now, I was targeting uh, the camping hiking niche, right? So I wanted camping and bonfire here. So what I will do is exclude um, the hiking. So uh, the ad set and potential reach could potentially be very small, but let's let's just let's just give a chance. Okay, so hiking trails. I exclude, exclude hiking trails. Okay, 700, uh, 760,000 is a good is a good estimate right now. Let's see if we can do another hiking boot. All right, so it brings me even down even further. Let's just try one more time. Hiking, was it equipment that I saw? Okay, so I'm kind of happy with this ad set. Uh, there's camping, um, targeting people with bonfire, so I'm expecting them uh, to have a lamp, to buy a lamp. Of course, I mean, they're out in the woods, right? They, they want a lamp that in case of survival emergency sort of situation. So people who like camping, people who like bonfire, and I'm excluding people who like hiking, uh, who buy hiking boots, hiking equipment, and hiking trails. So if I've already targeted something else in a different ad set, then I may potentially want to narrow something in my current ad set. 
Okay, so just to wrap up this entire video, uh, it's good to do interest targeting and remember to do maybe seven to 10 ad sets or even more just to test out what the market is and test out what your product is suitable for. And the last thing would be, so for example, you have this interest group, your first broad interest group, you want it to flex such that everybody in uh, camping basically also likes bonfire for the people I'm targeting. Anyone who likes camping and bonfire is also an engaged shopper and then I could narrow further even more. And the last thing would be the rules of interest targeting, excluding is important as well, okay? So that's basically it and that's how to do interest targeting in Facebook. I hope to gain some value from this video and uh, Thank you for your time and uh, I'll see you in the next one.